My name is Gizi Stavast and I'm an anesthetist myself and my role at Mindray is a European Anesthesia Business Manager. I'm really excited to introduce the new anesthesia platform A8 and A9 to you all. We have managed to integrate many features to enhance the safety to your patients. This makes it possible to enhance your productivity and care for your patient instead of caring for your anesthesia device. I believe the A9 will bring you a completely new interoperability experience. Let me walk you through these features one by one. Today we still observe in approximately 56% of patients an inadequate preoxygenation. Patients with a high risk of poor oxygenation can be found amongst the obese, pediatric, pregnant and critically ill patients, as well as patients with a difficult airway. During the performance of pre-oxygenation with room air and a traditional face mask, we have one to two minutes of apnea time before desaturation. Adding up to 15 or 20 liters of oxygen, this apnea time will be prolonged to eight minutes. However, if we use a high flow nasal cannula oxygen therapy or HFNC, we have the safest way of pre-oxygenation and the apnea time can be up to 30 minutes before desaturation sets in. Besides the pre-oxygenation for intubation, HFNC can also be used in some short-term tubeless anesthesia, such as ENT surgery and procedural sedation. It's simple, safe and it works. When we use the A9 integrated technology of the high flow nasal cannula oxygen therapy, we have a built-in design to remove clutter and save space by not having an additional device in the OR. HFNC also has a fresh gas flow rate of more than 60 liters per minute, even up to 100 liters of oxygen and air mixture per minute. The HFNC feature is there where you need it. It's directly accessible with clear digital indications of flow and the set mixture. Next to the HFNC, it also offers a traditional connection of oxygen masks or oxygen catheters. This is made possible through an integrated double connector. To summarize, with the HFNC feature, we can extend safe apnea time to 30 minutes. It helps clinicians to intubate more easily and offer an electronic mixture of oxygen and air with a maximum flow up to 100 liters per minute. But this is only the beginning. The A9 will amaze you more as we explore further features. Let me ask you, would you like to have a more stable level of anesthesia and reduce your interaction with the device and reduce cost? Well, here is a feature to do just that. Introducing Automatic Controlled Anesthesia, ACA. It will automatically adjust the fresh gas and vaporizer output to quickly achieve the preset target of end tidal anesthetic agent and inspiratory oxygen concentration. With this automatic control versus manual control, we can ensure a more stable level of anesthesia and increase the time of maintaining the end tidal anesthetic agent concentration within the desired range by 30%. We can also reduce the user interaction of fresh gas and vaporizer adjustments by more than 50%. Last but not least, by minimizing the consumption of anesthetic agents by 40%, we can reduce cost. Automatic controlled anesthesia offers you a safer maintenance during the anesthetic procedure and significantly reduces your workload. But we are not done yet. What do you think about this? If we look at anesthesia-related complications, more than 30% are caused by post-operative pulmonary complications, especially in cardiac thoracic surgery or obese patients. We provide you with a powerful protective ventilation toolkit to prevent these PPCs as we like to call them. The A9 integrates transpulmonary pressure monitoring. This is an independent monitoring for esophageal pressure to support customized ventilation settings for each individual patient. We can titrate the optimal PEEP by keeping the end expiratory transpulmonary pressure above zero. This to avoid alveolar collapse. Furthermore, we can limit the tidal volume or peak pressure by keeping the end inspiratory transpulmonary pressure under 25 centimeters of water to avoid barotrauma. 
The provided lung recruitment tool is called Recruitment Pro. It offers sustained inflation as a one-step recruitment and PEEP incremental as a multi-step recruitment. We can even schedule the recruitment intervals automatically, 30 minutes for example, to make the recruitment more efficient during the long-term surgery. This powerful tool gives you a complete overview of all parameters in one glance. In one display you will find real-time values and trend of peak pressure, expired tidal volume, compliance, pressure volume and flow volume loops before, during and after recruitment maneuver. To summarize, with these tools we can really optimize and customize the ventilation settings for each individual patient. Again, providing more safety for the patient at all stages of the anesthesia procedure and surgical intervention. Taking the safety concept even further, we developed a ventilation mode called AMV, which stands for Adaptive Minutes Ventilation. This ventilation mode can cover the entire process from intubation to extubation. It responds to the patient's breathing pattern automatically covering all phases of ventilation with an easy switch over between controlled ventilation and spontaneous breathing without any extra adjustments. The A9 also provides NMT, Neural Muscular Transmission Monitoring, which can provide you with a safe recovery and avoid the risk of having a residual neuromuscular block. The NMT module helps decision making of endotracheal intubation and extubation. It also reduces the risk of muscle relaxants residue, thus improving patient outcomes and, as I've mentioned before, patient safety. We wish the new A9 a long and safe journey, setting a new standard for safer anesthesia care.